Hi everyone, I am Francesca, I'm the yoga ambassador for Lululemon Norway. We're going to have a 60 minutes flow, focus is hip opening. So I'm going to go right into it because time goes fast. Let's go. We are going to start in a lying down position. So open up the feet slightly, feet away from the hips, hands away from the shoulders, step both slightly underneath the hips. Start taking a big inhalation through the nose, exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Repeat it a few times, inhaling all the way up to the top of the head. And for every exhalation, try to imagine whatever thoughts, stress, tension to just melt away from your body. Whatever has happened during the day so far, whatever will happen after, just let it melt away. And so really bring the awareness into the breath, into your own body. Try to bring the focus into this very present moment. Feeling the body completely heavy and relaxed into the mat. Starting out and exhaling a little bit deeper, inhaling all the way up to the top of the head, open up the ribcage to the side, exhale, close the ribs and feel the belly button pressing towards the spine slightly. Again, inhaling all the way up to the top of the head. Exhale, close the ribs, belly button to spine. One more, just like this, inhaling all the way up, breathing into the back of the throat, through the nose. Exhale, close the ribs, belly button to spine. In the next inhalation, we're going to reach the arms above the head, the feet long and away from you. Bend the knees into the chest and then roll a bit from side to side. Massage in the back. We're going to release the left leg down, keep the right knee up, interlace the fingers into the knees, start taking knee circles. One direction. Indulge in a little bit in the face or feel the tightest and then the other. Keep moving with the breath. In the next inhalation, we're going to squeeze the knee towards the chest, activating the hip flexors. We're going to let go of the knee and keep it there. One more time. Squeeze the knee into the chest. Exhale, let go, but keep it there. Right hand into the right knee, taking the right knee up to the side. Squeeze into the side of the chest. And then let go and keep it there. One more. Squeeze it into the side body. Exhale, let go and keep it there. Left hand into the right knee. Inhale and exhale. Take the knee into the side. Into a twist. Look towards the right hand. Inhale in all the way up to the top of the head. Exhale, belly button to spine. Reaching away from the knee even more. Inhale in all the way up. Exhale, belly button to spine and twist. One more, inhale all the way up. And exhale, release the spine into the twist. Inhale to come back, flexing the right foot on top of the left knee, bending the left leg. Both feet are flexed, interlace the fingers wherever suits you, and then squeeze the left knee toward the chest where you're reaching the right knee away from you. Wiggle a little bit from side to side, if it feels better. Breathe into the right hip especially. Now release the left leg down, squeeze the lower glutes in order to lift the hips as high as you can. Keep pressing the right leg down. Now consolidate the left leg, reach your right leg out, flex the foot, exhale, take it down. Inhale, point the foot, take it up, exhale, down. Do not drop the hips, inhale, up, exhale, down, inhale, up. With the foot point, release the right leg down, squeeze the hips up even more, reach up. And slowly exhale, roll the spine down. Okay, stretching the right leg away from you, the left knee to the chest. Introduce the fingers, knee circles. One direction, indulging, massaging the hip, and then the other. Good. Knee to center, we're going to squeeze the left knee towards the chest. Now let go of the knee and keep it there. One more. Inhale, squeeze the knee to the chest and then let go and keep it there as much as you can. Left hand into the left knee, take it to the side. Squeeze into the side body, let go, keep it there. One more. Inhale to squeeze, 
Exhale, let go, keep it there. Right hand into the left knee, inhale and exhale, take a twist. Look back towards the left side, breathe into the spine, into the hips, into the chest. Feeling the belly button drawing towards the spine for every exhalation. Equal steady breath. One more. Good, you have to come back, flexing the left foot on top of the right knee, bend with the right leg. Squeeze the right leg towards the chest while you're reaching the left knee away from you. Wiggle a little bit from side to side. Keep flexing the feet to protect, especially the left knee. Release the right foot down and squeeze the lower glutes in order to lift the hips up as much as you can. Keep it lifted, stretch the left leg up, flex the foot. Exhale down with the leg, in and point it up. Exhale down, in and up. Exhale down, in and up. From this point, it, press it down. Reach the hips even higher. Then slowly exhale, release them down. Bend the knees into the chest one more time. We go a little bit from side to side. And then slide both hands underneath the hips. You're going to reach your legs up. Just flex and point the feet a few times. Bringing circulation into the legs. Now flex the feet. We're going to exhale. Take the legs now as much as you can. Point the feet, bend the knees, reach your legs up. Exhale, down, nice and long. In and up. One more. Exhale, down. In and up. Reverse. We're going to bend the knee, reach your legs down and forward, and then lift them up. Keep the feet pointed this time. Down. And up. One more. Down. And up. Feet pointed, interlace the fingers behind the head. Now lift the hips up, lift the shoulder blades off the mark, stomach towards the spine, contract as much as you can for five, four, keep lifting, three, two, and one. Bend the knees, both hands underneath the knees, falling forward and back. I hope you're a bit warmer right now. Massage on the spine. Next inhalation. We're going to open up the feet, push a little bit more, sit up, Malasana. Hands forward, wiggle the hips a little bit from side to side, calming the breath. Now we're going to press the right hand into the right knee and reach the right knee away from you. And then other side, left hand into the left knee, reaching the left knee away. When I come back this time, I'm going to reach the left shoulder down, press against the left knee to open up. We're either going to stay here, if you want, you can try to take a bind, reach the hands down to open up the chest. In have to come back to center, this time right shoulder down, press against the right knee to create a resistance, lift the left arm up. Either stay here or take a bind, press the hands down to open up the chest, breathe into it. Slowly, coming back to center, activating the legs a little bit. So we're going to squeeze the lower glutes, so lift the hips up just a little bit, we press the knees out, exhale down. Inhale to lift, exhale release. Inhale, press the hips up, press the knees out for five, four, three, two, one. Release the hips, press the hands forward, release the knees down, come into all four. Open up the knees a little bit and just releasing the hips. Taking hip circles. Nice and easy. Maybe closing your eyes. Really following the breath, the body, the feeling. Whatever the body tells you to do, the body wants to do, go for it. That's your moment. One direction, then the other. And then slowly exhale, release the hips down towards the heels, press the fingertips into the mat, reach the hips away from the top of the head and the top of the head towards the fingers. So we're trying to make the spine as long as possible. Press the hands down, now squeeze the knees in a little bit, we're going to inhale round the spine to come up into all four. Exhale, lift the chest and chin and arch the spine back into the heels. Move slowly and with awareness, rounding the spine forward. Exhale.
exhale, arch it back, vertebra after vertebra, one more, inhale, round the spine forward, and exhale, arch it back, inhale, round the spine forward, this time allow the hips to come down, wiggle a little bit from side to side, slowly come back into the knees, hips 90 degrees, walk the hands forward, puppy pose, so either just forehead, or chin and chest. I usually suggest to grab the outer edge of the mat, hugging the elbows and armpits towards each other. Breathe into the chest, into the armpits, into the heart, the back of the heart, the throat. Slowly just lie down into the tummy. Keep the elbows close to the chest, the forehead reaches down. We're going to inhale, reach up just with the thoracic spine, so not lower the lower part, just the top, and exhale down. Inhale to reach up, engaging the shoulder blades, exhale down. Inhale to reach, and exhale down. Open up the legs a little bit more, fingertips down, we're going to engage the glutes, come up towards the spine, inhale to press around the way to come up, exhale to melt and release down. Inhale to press the mat away and come up. Exhale, ah, melting, releasing. Maybe with the mouth open. Inhale to press the mat away, come up all the way up. Look up, engaging the glutes, the back, the chest. And exhale to release. Release the heads out, tap the arms. One, two, three. Inhale to come up. Active cobra. Squeeze the elbows together even more. This time, introduce the fingers, press the hands away from your heels together, Shalabhasana for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release down, hands into the side of the chest, tuck toes under, active child's pose into downward facing dog. Move the dog a little bit from side to side. Release one heel down and then the other. And then check the hands, check the arms, keep hugging everything in, bending the knees if you need, reaching the tailbone upwards. Inhaling both heels off the mat, round the spine slightly forward. Exhale, lift the tail and release the heels down into the mat. Inhale, round it just a little bit forward, heels up. Exhale, reach them down, breathe into the spine one more. Inhale, round it just a little bit forward, heels up. Exhale, release down. Body weights, inhaling, lifting the heels off the mat, round the spine forward into high plank and stay. Exhale, bend the knees, lift tail, chest and chin, arch the spine, chin comes last down, facing dog. Inhaling, waving forward with the breath through the spine. Exhale, arch your back. Only one more, inhaling, waving forward through the spine. Exhale, arch your back, down, facing dog. One more time, find the downward dog position. Now we're gonna look forward towards the hand. We're gonna ha uh, hug the right knee towards the chest. So raise the right foot on the outside of the right hand. And then exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Left side, hug the knee, press it forward, left foot down, lift the chest up. Exhale, back. Move a bit dynamically, inhale forward, open the chest. Exhale, back. Inhale forward. Exhale back, one more, just like this. Inhale forward, exhale back. One last, inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale right foot forward, this time right arm up. Exhale twist, inhale back, exhale down, we facing up. Left side, inhale forward, exhale twist, inhale back, exhale down, we facing up. Inhale forward, exhale twist, inhale back, exhale down facing up, inhale forward, exhale twist, inhale back, exhale down facing up, inhale forward, exhale twist. You either gonna stay here this time, either releasing the knee down, maybe here, eventually hugging the heel in, pressing the foot into the hands, inhale. Exhale, bring the heel towards the hips. Breathe into it, slowly down the breath. Slowly 
exhale, release the left foot down, hands down, bring it back, downward facing dog. Left side, inhale forward, exhale, twist. So you're either gonna stay here, if you can, hug the heel, point it into the hands, inhale. Exhale, bring the heel towards the hips. Breathe into it. Slowly release the right foot down, hands come back, heel up, knee up, down and facing up. Breathe into it, keep pressing the hips up, lengthening the spine. And then slowly start walking the feet forward. Soft knees if you need, and I lengthen the spine halfway. Exhale, hug the elbows, forward fold. So everything is soft right now. Do not have the weight into the heels, but Rather, a little bit forward into the toes, maybe wiggling a little bit from side to side. Try not to find this position, rather bend the knees and really let the stomach release into the thighs. Slowly, hands come down, soft knees, to start rolling up all the way up. Open up the feet a little bit more, hands into the hips, hip circles, nice and wide into one direction. Releasing whatever tension is left, and then the other. Close the feet a little bit so that hip distance, interlace the fingers, palms to the fingers out, reach up. We start creating circles just to the thoracic part of the spine, to the top, the chest part. So you need to move quite slowly, try not to involve the hips too much, but just really to move this side one direction, maybe a couple of rounds. And then the other. So it's usually the part of the spine that doesn't move so much. And now coming back up, open up the chest a bit more. And exhale slowly, release the hands down. We're gonna come in the front of the mat, feet together, arms alongside, maybe closing your eyes for a second, checking the feet, checking the hips, stomach towards the spine, hips are nice and long. The chest is open. The breath is calm. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, forward fold, hands down. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, walk or jump back into Chaturanga. Inhale, open up into up top. Exhale, press back, down with the sing up. Stay here. Creating as much space as you can between each bone each joint, each vertebra. Letting the breath flow freely into the spine, into the neck, into the throat. Look at the hands, bend the knees, walk or jump forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale to the neck, look up at the thumbs. Exhale, hands in front of the chest. Open up the feet, keep this is apart, bend the knees, walk katrasana, staying here. Ground the hips down, stomach to spine, spine nice and long. Bring the hands down towards the mat, we're gonna roll the elbows down towards the hips, and then stretch them up. Roll them down, and then up. One more, roll them down, shoulders away from the ears, and up. Now bring the shoulders on top of the hips, but arch the spine, hug the elbows back. Interlace the fingers behind the back, press them down, then to open up the chest. Exhale, thumb into thighs, reaching the hands up. Exhale, forward fold, keeping the fingers interlaced. Breathing into the chest, shoulders, to the arms, arm strings. Hmm. Exhale, releasing the hands down, heels together, bend the knees. Back as a little arm balance. So you either just gonna have the elbow, maybe reaching one leg up at a time. If you can, heels, sorry, knees as high as you can, reaching the weight forward, using the fingers around the spine, lifting up. One, two, three, exhale, jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, open up, up dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Right leg comes up, one leg down facing dog, open up the hips and bend the knee, press the mat away, reach the knee up. Inhale, knee to knee. Exhale, open the knee up to the side. Inhale, knee to knee. Exhale, open up. One more, one last. Inhale, knee to knee. Exhale, open up. 
Now we're going to hug the right knee towards the right shoulder, come up into the left toes, release the right foot down, ground the feet to come up. From here, we're going to press forward into the right leg, reach the knee up, flex the foot. Left foot on top of the right knee, sink the hips down, flying pigeon. We pulse a little bit, up and down. So you have to come up, hug the knee into the chest, so you can stretch the left leg forward, and then slowly take it back into warrior three. Point the foot, bend the right leg, open up, warrior two. Ground the hips down, open them up, open up the knee. Reverse, take it back. And then stretching the front leg to reach even more. Bend the front knee, either elbow to knee or hands down. Shoulder to knee, knee to shoulder. If you can, snake the shoulder even more. Take a bound and bring the tailbone under to open up the chest. If you can, stretch the front leg. Breathing into it. Slowly bending the leg. Release both hands down, lift the left knee up, squeezing her thighs, so reach her right arm up into a twist. Exhale, right hand reaches down, lift the hips up, hold fingers and toes and feet towards the side. So heels out, toes in. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, long spine to come down. Inhale, roll up through the spine. Exhale. Release. One more. Rolling up through the spine. And exhale, releasing whatever shape you like. So either chilling here, maybe grabbing the ankles, maybe reaching the fingers back as much as you can. Coming up into tripod that stand, if you know what that is, if you want to go for it. Slowly, we're going to inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, open up both feet out to the side, toes out. Now bend the right leg and sink the hips down into a side lunge, standasana. So either hands here, or maybe you can just lift them up. Taking standasana to the opposite side, and then take it back, and take it back, and take it back. So we're gonna be into this side, we're gonna turn into the front of the mat, lift the hips up. Left heel is lifted, now ground it down 45 degrees to lift the hips up. So we're either going to hug the elbows into the back or walk the fingers in a namaste position underneath the back. Squeeze the inner thighs and to lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Parshvottanasana. Reaching the top of the head towards the big toe. Eventually the, the chin touching the shin. Releasing the hands down and lengthening the spine. We're going to pivot into the feet and cross the legs into the opposite direction. So we're going to reverse kind of an X. Breathing into the legs, hamstrings. Slowly take it back into the front of the mat. Releasing the left knee and foot down. Squeezing your thighs and trace the fingers. Reach the right knee and body from you. Fingertips down, tuck toes under. We're going to inhale, lift the knee off the mat, squeeze the left glute, exhale, release it down. Inhale up, exhale, release. Inhale up, exhale, release. Inhale, lift the hips up and flex the front foot. Exhale to bring these down, knee down, lift the chest up. One more time, now to come back and flex. Exhale to release, tap and lift the chest. One more. Inhale to come back and flex. Exhale to release. Knee down, foot down, squeeze the thighs, lift the chest up. Back bend. Engaging the left leg towards the head if you want. And then slowly release down. From here, we're going to walk the hips back, walk the heel away from you so the hips are 90 degrees. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, long spine to come down. Inhale, breathing, rolling through the spine. And exhale, release down. One more. Inhale, breathing, rolling through the spine. Exhale, down. This time, reaching the stomach very low into the thighs. And point and flex the front foot. Right hand into the right foot, taking the right foot out to the side.
Then go in the full plank stance, taking it in and out slightly. Flexing the foot, walking both hands into the outside of the leg. Keeping the chest open, the spine nice and long. Keep pressing the right heel down. Slowly coming back. This time, push your right foot down, tap toes under, lift up. Walk the fingertips forward, transfer the weight into the right leg. Start lifting the left leg up, stand this plate. If you can, grab the ankle, reach the forehead towards the shin. Keep reaching out, grinding the right foot down. Slowly look up, both hands forward, squeeze in the thighs, stomach to spine, start taking the left leg down as controlled as you can. Keep distance apart. Bend the knees, Utkatasana position, round the hips. One more time, bring the shoulders on top of the hips, arch the spine, elbows down. Fingertips interlaced, or try to interlace the opposite hand on top. Press the hands down to open up the chest. Thumb into thighs, reach the hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe into it. Release the hands down in front of you. Heels together, bend the knees, you have another go. However you can, try to transfer the weight into the fingers and lift up Bhattasana. One, two, three, jump back. Chaturanga. Inhale, open up, up, dog. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Left leg comes up, one leg down facing dog. Open up the hips and bend the knee, press them at the weight, lift the knee up. Inhale, knee to knee. Exhale, open the knee to the side. Two more. Inhale, knee to knee. Exhale, open up. Inhale, knee to knee. Exhale, open up. Now try to have the left knee towards the left shoulder. Come up into the right toes. Release the left foot down. And then lift up. Press the right foot up. Right knee up. Flex the foot. Flying pigeon. Taking the hips back. The right knee open. Bounce up and down a little bit if you'd like. You have to reach up, right into the chest, stretch your right leg forward. Exhale, take it back, warrior three. Whoop. Pointing the right foot, bending the left knee, reach back, warrior two. Ground the hips, bring the tailbone slightly under. Taking it back, reverse. Stretching the front leg to reach even more. Bending the front knee, so either just elbow to knee or slide the hands forward, eventually taking a bind if you'd like, then bring the tailbone under to open up the chest, if you want, stretching the front leg. Breathe into it. Slowly bending the knee, releasing the hands down, squeezing the thighs, lift the right heel up, taking a twist. Left hand releases down, lift the hips up, walk hands and feet towards the side, heels out, toes in. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, long spine to come down. Inhale, rolling through the spine. Exhale, release it down. One more. Inhale, rolling through the spine. And exhale, one more time, release it down in whatever version you'd like. Maybe taking a twist. Maybe you need to move into it, maybe you need to be completely still. You have to lengthen the spine look up, except to bring both your in towards each other, bending the knees. Walk the hands into the knees, you now here, except press the knees open and take a twist. You have to come up, exhale, twist. You now up, exhale, twist. One more. Up and twist. You need to come up, find a position, bounce the hips up and down a few times. And then release the hands down, lift the hips up, both fingers and toes and feet towards the front of the room. Open up the right foot out to the side, release the right heel down 45 degrees and lift up. So the hips are square, either hugging the elbows or sliding the finger. And, uh, in between the shoulder blades. Now lengthen the spine. Exhale, first foot to Nasana. 
releasing down. Eventually, chin, touching the shin, forehead or top of the head towards the toes. Releasing the hands down, we're going to start pivoting towards the opposite side into the feet, into sort of an X shape with the legs. Slowly coming back to center, this time releasing the knee and the foot down, releasing the hips down, interlace the fingers into the knee, reach the knee away from you. Fingertips down, tuck the toes under, we're going to inhale, lift the knee up, exhale, tap it down, inhale up, exhale, release, inhale up, exhale, release, inhale, lift the hips up and flex the front foot, exhale to release down, knee down, lift the chest up, inhale to come back and flex, exhale to release, tuck and lift. One more. Inhale to lift up and flex. Exhale to release. Knee down, foot down, squeeze in the thighs, lift the chest up. Back bend. If you want, you can engage the leg towards the head. Gently release it down and then take the hips back. Slide the left knee away from you, flex the foot. Fingertips down, inhale, lengthening the spine, looking up. Exhale, long spine to come down. Inhale, rolling up through the spine. Exhale to release down. One more. Inhale, rolling through the spine. And exhale to release down. From here, start pointing and flexing the front foot. Flex it. Left hand into the left foot. Take the left foot out to the side. Release the foot and take the foot in and out. Flex the foot, walk both hands into the outside of the leg. Keep the chest open, the spine long, pressing the left heel down. Slowly, coming back to center. This time, press the left foot down, tap toes under, lift the hips up. Walk the fingertips forward, transfer the weight into the left foot and reach your right leg up. Open the hips if you'd like, grab the ankle and reach the forehead towards the shin, stand and split. Slowly, we're going to look up, lengthen the spine, square off the hips, tummy to spine, start bringing the right foot down, hip distance apart. Bend the knees, Utkatasana. From here, start lowering the hips as much as you can, lift the heels up, and just half the hands in. But now it's a, I'm gonna move this way actually. It's more of a core exercise. You're gonna try to tap the knees down into the mat and then bring them up. Oh, falling feature. So we down, in and up. And down, and up. One more. Down, and up. Now release the hands forward and start lowering down the heel, eventually lowering down the butt, stretching the legs forward. Shake them off. We're gonna walk the feet away from you, the hips away from you. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. And exhale, forward fold. Grab the outside of the feet, maybe the knees are bent, and then lengthen the spine. And exhale to release them. Keep reaching the top of the head, away from the tailbone. The tailbone reaches upwards. So it's almost like if you imagine the hips and the spine, sorry, it's setting from very low down. When I inhale, lengthen the spine. When I bring the fingertips into the side of the knees almost, round the spine, when I inhale, lift the legs up. Exhale down. Strong core, inhale, lifting up. Exhale down. One more, inhale up. And exhale down. This time, bend the legs, the feet are down, both hands are behind the hips, hug the ankles in. Inhale to lift the hips and chest up, eventually releasing the head down. And then slowly 
lower it down. One more time. If you want to do it with stretch legs, stretch them out. Squeeze the elbows in. You can have to lift the hips up, chest up, head back, and then slowly release down. Press the feet down. Move the knees a little bit from side to side. I'm gonna close the curtains so the sun is coming straight through. Okay, we're gonna stretch the legs in front of you one more time. We're gonna bend the right leg into the left inner thigh. Now grab the foot in front of you now to the left and the spine look up. Exhale, forward hold. Janashi Sasana up. Breathing into the right hip. Keep reaching the right, sorry, the top of the head towards the left foot. Now release the hands from the foot and reach the hands into the opposite direction of the knee. Walk the hands into the inner corner. Keep them nice and low. Right hand be, uh, behind the right knee. Lift the hips and chest up, half wildly. And then slowly exhale to release down. We're gonna bend the right leg, right heel in line with the right hip. So it's not attached, slightly open. You either gonna reach with the right hand and left foot, or you can try to take a bind, Marichasana up, press the shin away to lengthen the chest, exhale forward fold. Keep lengthening the spine, breathing into the low back, into the hips. Slowly, you know, to come up. Exhale, we're gonna take the right foot on the opposite side of the left leg. Hug the knee to the chest, lift the spine, the chest up, and exhale, take a twist. Feel free to take whatever variation with the arm as it's like. I'm gonna stay here for today. You know, to come back. Exhale, twist a bit to the opposite direction. Slide the right foot on top of the left knee, bend the left leg. Now with both hands, you're gonna try to reach the chest towards the calf. Keep the right foot flexed and the right knee, which is away from you. Change, so both hands are toward the hips. One more time, squeeze the elbows in. You have to lift the hips up, you're pressing the right knee down. Chest up, eventually releasing the head back. And then slowly exhale, release down. From here, we're gonna take a double pigeon, a little box. So we're just gonna bend the bottom leg down. So if you're here, you feel you really can't move, maybe you can even place a block, a block underneath the hips, or just release the foot down. If you can, we're gonna try to find the foot to knee, knee to foot. I like to move the knee out of the way slightly. Fingers forward and then lengthening the spine, look up and exhale, releasing down. Breathing deeply into the hips, spine. And imagine whatever tension to just melt with especially the exhalation. Now slowly come back up to center. We're gonna slide both feet forward. So we're gonna sit in cross leg position, hands into the knees, start taking a couple of Sufi circles. Massaging the hips, the spine, maybe closing your eyes, one direction and then the other. Now slowly close the knees together, point the feet. Now press the fingertips down, lifting both feet up the mat, squeezing into the chest, arms towards the feet, forehead towards the knees. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale gently, releasing down into a hollow body hold for five, four, three, two, one. Moving in and up, exhale down. 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 In and up, stretch the legs, Navasana for five, four, three, two, one. Cross the ankles. When I come up into the knees, we're gonna squeeze in the thighs, press the hips forward, lift the chest up. Either we're just gonna stay here. 
here. If you feel like it, try to reach up either for the heels with the toes like thunder or finding a full camel pose. Releasing the abdominals, engaging the back body to open up the front body. Slowly inhale to the back and exhale to release down. And however you can, find your way back into the hips. Let me move the knees a little bit from side to side. One more time, reaching both legs forward, this time bending the left leg into the right inner thigh. Jana Shisasana up, grabbing the foot in front of you, lengthen the spine, inhale, exhale, release down. Then we always prioritize the length in the spine. So if you feel that you are up here, don't be afraid to bend the front knee and reach for the foot. Let go of the foot, walk both hands into the outside. And then start walking them into the inner corner. Keep moving them along. Left hand down, lift the hips and chest up. Half while thing. And then slowly exhale to release down. Bending the left leg, left heel in line with the left hip. Reach forward either from the up for the opposite foot. If you can, hugging the left shin, maybe taking a bind, Mari Chasana A, inhale, lengthen, exhale, forward fold. The spine is long, the top of the head is reaching towards the front foot. So we're not breaking the neck, we're lengthening the neck. Slowly, you have to come back up. Taking the left leg into the opposite side of the right, hugging the knee into the chest. I like to create a little bit more space between the hips, so taking the left hip out, lengthen the spine, inhale, exhale, take a twist. Keep the right leg active, the foot is flexed back. The spine almost having a little bit of a feeling of a back bend, so the chest really presses upwards. Inhale to come back. Exhale, twist a bit towards the opposite side. Flexing the left foot on top of the right knee, bending the right leg, and then again with both hands, you can reach the chest towards the calf as close as possible. Keep the left foot flexed and the left knee reaching away from your, your leg, actually. Change the hands so the fingertips are towards the hips, have the elbows in, Lift the hips and chest up, eventually releasing the head back. Slowly exhale, release the hips down. We're going to come back into our double pigeon opposite side. So, if you're here, replacing with a block or pillow, however you can. If you can, knee to foot, foot to knee. If this is a no go, you release both feet down into the mat. Again, holding the hips out of the way, reaching the fingers forward, so lengthening the spine as forward as you can to exhale, release. There should be no pain in the knees, there should be just a feeling of a stretching sensation actually in the hips. Slowly, we're going to come back. This time, we're going to open up the legs out to the side. Maybe you need to shake them up first, move them to make in and out. So open them up. Fingers, the hands are interlaced. We're going to have a feeling of steering the biggest soup you've ever seen. So moving your hand forward and exhaling back. Bending the knees if you need. One direction and then the other.
down into the mat. So pick your best. And again, really focus on opening up and letting go. Many times we're holding tension because we're afraid. So try to figure out if you're holding the hips because your scar is gonna hurt. Or maybe bring awareness into the face. Is your jaw relaxed? Is your face soft? Or your tensing hardening up? And then very gently, we're gonna come back up. We're gonna turn towards the right side. We're gonna round the spine, start towards the spine. We're gonna lift the right leg up. And up. And up. And up. One more. Up. And up. Now turn to the left side, round the spine, and then up. And up. Up. And up. And up. And up. Now turn this way. Now we're going to round the spine, both hands are forward, round it. As if you can reach both legs straight up. If you need, you can bend them, you can grab the big foot, up, press the chest forward, find the place of balance. Round the spine one more time, so if you can close the legs in towards each other, eventually releasing the hands, Navasana for five, four, three, two, one, slowly go down, hold the body for five, four, three, two, and one, releasing everything down, bending the knees into the chest, roll a bit from side to side, and then place both feet close to the hips, squeeze them and thighs and start rolling up through the spine, reach the hips as high as you can, the chest as high as you can, and very slowly extend, release down, controlling the movements with the core. Gently vertebra to vertebra, all the way down. So if you're ready, ready for it, you can place the hands into the side of the ears and come back into full Urbhadangasana, full bridge. Or you're going to lift the hips up, walk the shoulders under to interlace the fingers, press the fingers down, open up the chest. You can either stay here or you can walk the hands underneath the hips like the little shelf. Or of course you are here. And then slowly exhale to release down, maybe taking a little break, bending the knees into the chest. And then one last time, sit down. Same thing, so you're either going to come up into modification or placing the hands into the side of the ears. Squeeze the elbows in, in order to lift up into bridge pose. Pressing the hands down, the feet down, the hips as high as you can. But you really want to open up into the armpits and chest. And then slowly exhale to release all the way down. Bend the knees into the chest, roll a bit from side to side. Now release the left leg down, keep the right knee up, inhale, and exhale, take the right knee to the side into a twist. If you want to go a bit deeper into the twist, you can try to bend the bottom leg, grab the foot, and reach the foot and shoulder down towards the mat. Start slowing down the breath. Eventually closing your eyes. Slowly, you know, to come back. This time, you're going to place the left leg, the left foot down, the right leg up. If you know you have the flexibility, you can stretch the left leg away from you. When I bend the knee, grab the ankle. When I bend the knee, flex the foot. Inhale, exhale to point the foot and stretch the leg. Inhale to flex and bend. Exhale to point and stretch. Inhale to flex and bend. And exhale to point and stretch. Thank you. 
and try to grab the big foot, the big toe, the knee can be bent, exhale, we will release the right leg towards the side, looking towards the left side, try to keep the left hip as stable as possible into the mat. Inhale to lift up and exhale to release the right leg down. Lift the left knee into the chest, right hand into the left knee, exhale, take the left knee into the side, into a twist. Bend in the bottom leg, grabbing the foot if you'd like, looking back, closing your eyes, keeping the awareness, the focus into the breath, into the body. Slowing down each inhalation, exhalation now. Slowly, you have to come back, keeping the bottom leg bent or stretched, depending on your levels. You can of course have a strap or a towel if you have it close by. Bend the knee, flex the foot, grab the ankle. Exhale to point the foot and stretch the leg. Inhale to bend and flex. Exhale to point and stretch. Inhale to bend and flex. And exhale to point and stretch. Stay here. Grab my big toe. Inhale here. And exhale. Take the leg to the side. Looking back towards the opposite side. Keeping the right hip so not up here, but really nice and stable into the mat. Now coming back to center and exhale, releasing the left leg down. One last inhale to reach both legs up. This time flex the feet, bend the knees, grab the outside of the feet, happy baby. Rocking a little bit from side to side, allowing the hips to open, release the spine to lengthen, keeping the face completely soft, no tension in the jaw. Allowing the body to open and release. Slowly we're going to let go the feet. Press the feet into the outer edge of the mat and then release both knees towards each other. Maybe rocking the knees a little bit side to side. Focusing on the internal rotation of the hips. And then we can either Bend the legs into Supta Konasana if you want to feel the open a bit more or stretch the legs out into full Shavasana. Maybe shake the feet a few times and arrange the arms. Make yourself as comfortable as you'd like. Inhale into the nose, exhaling with the mouth open. And again, inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Feel the body completely heavy and relaxed. Sinking into the mat. The legs are heavy. Hips are totally open and released. The tummy is rising up and down with the breath. The chest is open, the arms are heavy. The face is completely soft. Eyes, the nose, the mouth. The jaw, forehead and temples melting to the side of the face. The mind is calm and relaxed into this moment of full relaxation.
I'm not trying to control the breath anymore, although I feel pure day of mind as one rain. And I really want to focus in the inhalation and the exhalations. Imagine your breath going up and down the body without any blockages and expansions, bringing new, fresh energy into every part, every cell of your body. And then slowly start to move the fingers, the toes, Bring awareness back into the body, reaching the arms above the head, the legs long and away from you. And then bend the knees into the chest, roll a bit from side to side. And your release towards the right side of the body. And using strong arms, eyes closed, the neck to come up last, lift yourself up into a sitting position. Trying to feel the spine, the back as long as possible, shoulders on top of the hips, head on top of the shoulders. And imagine the breath going up and down the spine. And in this moment, try to observe the body, the mind, and see if you feel any better from the beginning of the class. And if you do, try to remember that you can come back to this at any time you need through the breath, through some movements, through yoga. Bring the hands in front of the chest. Take a moment to send love and appreciation to yourself, to life. Open up your eyes. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you had a good time. And yes, hopefully see you soon.